What's up, Leo? Welcome to your future love spread, May through July. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Leo. Single, coupled, this is for you. We're going to see what love looks like for the next couple months. The link to the extended reading will be below in the description box and pinned in the comments section. I'm going to do two spreads on the extended. One will be career and money, and the other will be future love and how it leaves July. So whatever outcome we get here, you're going to get more information over there. Hang out to the end of the reading. I've got a special announcement. Also, too, at the end, we're going to pull some additional cards, depending if you're Leo Sun, Rising, Moon, or Venus. You'll get an extra message. All right, let's check it out. All right, so who are you right now, Leo? What's your energy? The Ten of Cups. I'm going to lay everything out, and then we'll talk about it. We'll go over it. All right, who are they? Who's your future love? What, what's their energy? The Fool. So it could be an Aries. All right, what are you looking for in love, Leo? Well, there you are, Queen of Wands. All right, what are they looking for in love? What are they expecting? They've got the hanged man, Pisces energy. All right, let's pull you down, Leo. What are you going to want with this person moving forward? Temperance, major for Sagittarius. What are they going to want moving forward with you? The Ace of Swords. And what is the relationship together? What can you expect? The Knight of Cups. All right, let's move all of this over. Let's get situated here real quick. All right, y'all. Bear with mom here for a second. I want to get it laid out so you can see your cards. Move these a little closer. All right, we are going to clarify this reading. All right, and your relationship together. So we're getting some Pisces energy showing, Sagittarius energy as well. Doesn't mean you're not connecting with that person. It could be somebody different, but I just like to lay it out in case anybody is interested in knowing. All right, let's clarify this and see what you can expect in this connection. All right, what does Leo need to know? May through July, future love. What does this future love connection look like? All right, so who are you right now? Ten of Cups. So family, right? Marriage, kids, ultimate satisfaction. Some of you are really daydreaming, right? Like even picturing what this would look like in the future. You know, who you're going to marry, who you're going to end up with, kids, that kind of thing. A lot of you also, too, when it comes to a love relationship, Family is important. Wanting to blend the two together as well. So it's that happily ever after energy. Really focusing, again, on something long term with the 10. And, you know, being a little whimsical about it. A little emotional. A lot of daydreaming and envisioning what this would look like for the future. Who are they? The fool. So again, you've got major arcana for Aries. So this person could certainly be on a new path. Let's see what this is all about. All right, so who's Leo? Ten of Cups. Why the Ten of Cups with the High Priestess? A lot of Pisces. Some of y'all have Pisces in your chart. Again, you know, with the High Priestess, a very intuitive energy. She's going within. She's studying, especially in this deck. She's got a book. So really being in tune with your spirituality as well. And, you know, the let me move this closer, y'all. The High Priestess can be kind of silent or quiet. The high priestess is working her magic, but she's doing it behind the scenes. So a lot of you are really focusing on manifestation, using your guidance, your own spirituality to call in this beautiful energy and just be kind of quiet about it, right? We don't know what the high priestess is going to reveal because he or she keeps that energy to themselves, but believing in a very strong spiritual connection. What's this high priestess for Leo? What is this? And temperance, major for Sagittarius. Also, some of you um, want a quiet relationship or a quiet marriage. This would be the energy of like running away together or keeping things, you know, between yourself. You know, a, a very secretive, like it's none of your business type energy. And with temperance there, it's being patient. You're being divinely guided and you know that. You would know that with temperance. This is being patient to call in that beautiful energy. This is not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's who you are right now. 
And temperance is also being in tune with the fact that you know everything has to be in balance to have that Ten of Cups, that happily ever after. Who are they? So they've got the Fool. Why is this here? Aries energy and the Three of Swords. They're able to pick themselves up. up start a new path, go towards something new after heartbreak and disappointment. Why is the fool here with the three of swords and the hermit? Major for Virgo. They're very wise. Yes, the hermit is very slow energy. So this person is very slow right now. They're going within. There's reflection going on, inner reflection, because of some sort of separation. So this person could certainly be going through a breakup, a divorce, but also just distancing themselves right? Because they know, spiritually speaking, I mean, the Hermit is quite a spiritual card, that they have to separate, take a new path. This person may feel as though they've disappointed people around them, not just in love, because this person right now, who they are, <clears throat> feels as though they're on a new journey, a quest. And so right now, they're kind of pulling away. They may be not going out a lot. They may not be, you know, very social right now. Woo, too many cards fell. Let's see, what are you looking for uh, in love, Leo? You're the queen of wands, so that's feeling confident, action, taking action. She's got the black cat there in front of her too. So the queen of wands can actually be thought of as a witch, a good witch, right? A lot of people don't talk about that, but she has the ability to do that. What's this queen of wands and the two of cups? You're looking for a soulmate connection. You're looking for a partnership where it's equal. Two people want to be in the, in the relationship. Two people are offering that cup. Give me your cup. No, give me your cup type energy. So it is a very strong relation. A lot of you are really manifesting a soulmate right now. You may be doing, you know, setting your intentions, meditative energy, reading up on the connections, taking action and feeling confident that it's all about divine timing, that that person is coming into your life. What's this Two of Cups and the Devil? Some of you are obsessively studying this connection, right? I'm not hating it. I don't, I don't mind the Devil there. Capricorn energy. There are some of you, Leo, who are um, married, but you're separated or you're thinking about leaving that connection because you're looking for... for a deeper level of love, like a deeper connection, a strong connection. You, Some of you just feel like you're with somebody and you don't have to be married to them, but you're connecting with somebody as of right now and you, you feel or you know that that isn't the end all be all. And you feel a little bit stuck. You also want to find that person that you are stuck to. Do you know what I mean? The devil can be a soulmate energy, believe it or not, right on that two of cups. So it's that kind of bond that you have with someone that's undeniable and you're looking for that immediate traction with that queen of wands again i'm not hating it what are they looking for in love what's this person looking for the hanged man pisces energy with the five of pentacles yeah see this person and it could be you you'll know how this resonates if you're already connecting with them what are they looking for in love they're looking for a light bulb moment because that hanged man is having this kind of <clears throat> view it's a different view it's seeing things in a new light wanting someone different than they've ever known and with the five of pentacles again this person has felt shut out in love they're looking for someone where it's like us against the world five of pentacles it can be just us on this journey i mean certainly having other people around you but the five of pentacles can be we've overcome obstacles and we can go our own way if people are on the same page it's a very mature yet slow kind of going within type energy. And again, they're looking, that hanged man can be, be a very spiritual card as well. They're looking for someone who, when you're together and you're communicating, it's like this whole new world is coming about. It, again, it is a new perspective on a connection and how to move forward in love. But their energy is super slow right now. And I do feel like, uh, you know, this person... You know, you do have to be careful sometimes. I mean, you don't want to be completely isolated. You need family. You need friends. You need balance in your life. And this person, again, feels a little bit like a loner. And, you know, they may be looking for somebody who, again, it's like we don't need anybody else. We have each other. So, you know, just kind of be careful of that. I mean, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, but, you know. All right. So what are, what are you going to want with this person, Leo? You've got temperance. 
how are you going to want to move forward with them? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the Five of Cups. Again, temperance is really that divine timing, right? And with the Five of Cups, you've got that emotion. You've got regret or sadness from the past, a loss, missing. But temperance is all about healing that energy as well. So you're looking to show this person, hey, listen, you can let people in. It's okay. You don't have to completely isolate yourself. Not everybody's going to withdraw. Not everybody's going to ghost you. So there is a very beautiful healing energy around this person. And it's going to also give you a new perspective, open up the door for you on how you've gotten through hard times. And it doesn't have to just be in love. Your energy is very optimistic moving forward. Five of Cups in reverse with the Knight of Swords in reverse. You're going to want to take it slow. That Knight of Swords is pulling back on energy, right? The Knight of Swords is we don't have to be impulsive. We don't have to rush into anything because you're going to get a sense here that this, you know, that this person is a little bit um, being guided. And so I think feeding off of that, how you'll move forward with that Knight of Swords universe, you're not going to want to rush this by any means. I think you'll sense that this person needs to um, grow a little bit, heal a little bit more as well. And I think that you're patient. I think that you're willing to hang around for that. But you're going to know right away, all right, this is going to take some nurturing. This is going to take a little bit of time. All right. What do they really want moving forward with you, Leo? They've got the Ace of Swords. How are they going to want to move forward? We've got this Ace of Swords. What's this about? What is it? The Four of Cups in reverse. Ah, uh, that makes sense. So again, the, there's that emotion with the Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Communication. They want a lot of communication. They want truthful communication, which brings this breakthrough, this clarity for them, this kind of like aha moment, right? With the Four of Cups in reverse, not everything has to be wasted emotion, right? Yes, I've dealt with people that have gotten away from me or, I, or, or something was a missed opportunity in some way. But let's talk about it. I have clarity. I want to see clearly. I still want victory and success with Leo, they don't all have to be like the others. So right now you really feel that this person is, or you will feel that they are kind of, I feel like they're also very knowledgeable. They're also doing a lot of studying, reading up on you know soulmate connections, healing from the past, making sure that you're ready for a relationship. So a very mature energy, and they're gonna have that clarity with that Ace of Swords. But again, get ready for somebody that wants to talk about it a lot. What's this Four of Cups in reverse? The Knight of Cups. There's, again, Cups. This person's really in their emotions for you in general, but also for you. Knight of Cups is going to be, they're going to be very open and responsive also to the fact that you're so powerful and confident. That, and I think that you teach them a lot, Leo, about the soulmate journey and connection or, you know, twin flame journey. And there's discussions about that. And they're very grateful. That Knight of Cups moving forward is, again, here, take my cup. There's love and emotion and gratitude in that cup. It's kind of sweeping you off your feet. It is a knight. So again, there's a little bit slower progression, but it is offering love. It's this Knight of Cups. Woo! And then look what it turns into, the King of, cup, of Pentacles. So this is a relationship that grows slowly over time after trust is gained. That King of Pentacles, what does he want moving forward? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. That King of Pentacles wants to nurture you. They want success. The King of Pentacles is very loyal. And you'll notice how this clarifies over time. So this signifies moving down a little bit more towards July. It grows into something quite more stable. And also that King of Pentacles is looking to build something for the future. It's an offer. It's potential. He likes to shower you with things as well, Leo take you out to a nice dinner, very protective energy, very responsible and cautious energy. The king of pentacles is typically married or in a long-term relationship. Those things are important to him. All right, what's your relationship together look like? May through July, you've got the knight of cups, love, emotion. What do we got? And the page of swords in reverse. 
What's this Knight of Cups with the Page of Swords in reverse? Why is this your relationship, Leo, with this person? What is it? And the King of Cups. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love that. See, we go from a knight to a king. So again, your relationship together, a very romantic connection, a very dreamy connection. Again, coming and going with the offerings. And the reason it's a knight, because the knights are in pursuit of love and emotion with that Knight of Cups is because it grows into something more mature. We saw over here, they're gonna take their time a little bit. You're gonna be very well aware of that. And I think you're gonna be also very patient, very kind of quiet, letting them kind of do their thing. And because you'll, you'll get a sense that this is going to evolve. So it's a very romantic, like they'll start to, it's like they warm up more and more and more because they're gonna trust you more. And so your relationship together becomes very romantic. It becomes kind of um, very dreamy with that Knight of Cups energy. Why is that page of swords in reverse? That's interesting, right? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, he's not always a liar. He doesn't always stop communicating because he's in the middle of these two cards, Knight of Cups, King of Cups, there's maturity. We go from a knight to a king. Now this King of Cups falls in love. He offers the cup. He's done a lot of healing. And he's able to know, he's mature. He knows what it means to love and to give love. And he's also super intuitive. So that Knight of Swords in Reverse says, I don't need to research anymore. I don't, I no longer have to be inquisitive, right? I trust this energy with Leo. I trust that this can grow into something very loving and very beautiful. So there's no more need to be kind of cautious. It feels very Nine of Wands energy, right? I don't have to be suspicious. I don't have to you know, ask when, where, why, and how anymore. I can allow myself to love and to love unconditionally. I do want to see here, I want to see why the high priestess is here with temperance. So this is the you energy. Why is this here for Leo with temperance? And the seven of pentacles slowly investing after really reflecting on the energy. Patience. This is very patient energy. Some of you will even kind of keep this under the wraps because you want to be a guide to this person. You want to, number one, heal together, go through this journey together, and you don't want other people in your business knowing about what's going on. You, they don't need to know. As far as you're concerned, you feel that ultimate happiness here. And there's something about this person that you really feel that you could build something very long-term, very loving, see a future you're happily ever after but you're going to be it's going to be under wraps a little bit you're just gonna, you're not going to boast it to the world you know you don't need to go on every social media site and you know talk about this connection or relationship it's very quiet and quiet energy because there's healing that's taking place and you just don't want to expose that for some of you and with the seven of pentacles again it's slow energy it's really taking stock of the situation that's who you are right now. It's almost like you've learned lessons from the past. Some of you maybe have been burned by that in the past, right? Like announcing relationships too soon and then it goes south and then you're like, oh, why did I do that? So it's a very cautious energy that you're sitting in right now when it comes to the next relationship, the next love. I like it. I like their energy. It's it's really going within and, you know, taking some time on their own and figuring out what does it mean? What tools do I need to call in a long-term successful relationship? It's it's quite nicely matched. Like I feel like you guys are balancing each other. You're on the same level. Let's look at your advice. So, advice for future love for Leo. So, if you are a Leo sun, what is your advice? engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment it doesn't mean everybody's getting married by july but we did see a progression of energy here remember i pointed out that the energy matures we go from knights to kings all right so this does take kind of this goes towards a higher level of commitment all right what if you're a leo moon Leo Moon, what do we got? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Mom felt that early on with a soulmate connection. Could it be an ex? Could it be somebody you've already known? Maybe from front, you know, when you were little or, you know, it's a friend that turns into a relationship. It could be, but I definitely don't feel like this is your first rodeo with this person. All right, Leo rising, you want to be heard. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. 
I think that's getting this person out of their comfort zone a little bit. Like, you don't have to be so serious. Like, because your energy seems more fiery. You are a fire sign. Flirty, fiery. There's a strong, you know, attraction. This is, you're in that energy with this person of like, come on, let's go run through the rain. Who cares if we look like a hot mess? All right. What if you are a Leo Venus? What is your advice for future love? Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like that's more on their side. I feel like that codependency, they've probably had that in the past. I don't necessarily feel like addictions, I, mean, I guess they could have had some addictions with Pop-Tarts, alcohol, drugs, whatever it is, but I get more, it's the energy of, be, they were codependent on love in relationships in the past. And they've been just beat the hell up. And so that's why you're gonna find they're a little bit at first, a little bit quiet, a little bit reserved. Can I trust this situation? Because they've been codependent in love. And remember, we saw that earlier too. Remember, we got that energy of, you know, we don't need anybody else. Let's just kind of stand. I'm not saying like narcissistic where they're trying to like exclude you from another life outside of them. But I feel like their comfort zone is, it's going to be like you and them. It's a very us against the world energy. And so just be mindful of that as well. All right. Don't let anyone take your shine. Now, on the extended reading, we're going to do two spreads. We're going to do love and money. So we're going to see what that looks like for you over the next, say, May through July. And then we're also going to do a separate love spread. What does this turn into? Leaving July. I mean, is this somebody that's just temporary? To me, it looks like it's beautiful. It looks like there's a lot of potential, a very strong emotional um, relationship where you guys are on this like kind of, again, past life journey. So I want to see how they feel about you after July and where it heads after that. And uh, we'll go from there over there on the extended reading. Also too, quick shout out to my friend Juline. She is an astrologist and she does amazing readings. I've had a reading from her. I really don't give shout outs. You know, I'm not getting anything out of it, but just the fact that I was blown away by her talent and her ability. And so I'm gonna link her website below. If you're looking to, you know, have any type of reading done for a, your astrological, you know, chart, she does an amazing job. You will be blown away away and she's actually offering a 25 percent discount if you mention it over on her website and um yeah check her out she is just so brilliant and talented and i feel lucky to know her and uh so people ask me often um about the astrology so i'm gonna go ahead and send you her way and her website will be linked below I would appreciate a thumbs up, some comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the reading. Also in the comment section, put your moon sign. I'm asking everybody because, well, I'm nosy and I want to know. And um, if the video hit for you, make sure you hit that thumbs up and share the video. You might know another Leo that could benefit. I would appreciate it. All right, Leo, I will see y'all over on the extended. I love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.